Um, my name is Polly and um, I'm a primate keeper here. Um, we've got a variety of Langer monkeys, um, which are your very uh, classic looking monkey. Um, we've got the Dusky monkeys, uh, the Grizzled monkeys, um, Javan Langers. We've also got a variety of macaques and we've also got gibbons as well. Uh, this is the lemur walkthrough where um, you have a chance to walk through the enclosure where the lemurs um, have full access and um, it's just a chance to properly see them and watch them climb around on the ropes and eat their dinner and everything. Um, my typical day consists of uh, initially coming in and preparing the feeds for the day um, which have all been weighed out the day before so that just uh, requires a lot of chopping up. Um, everyone has a, a talk about what they're going to be doing that day in case there's going to be any inoculations or veterinary treatment or if there's any uh, catching up and moving of the animals around from different um, enclosures. Then um, we all go off to our separate sections and feed and clean um, and then some of us will come back and uh, start preparing the foods for the following day and then um, they, the uh, monkeys then have a midday feed um, and then after that in the afternoon uh, it might be more cleaning, it might be more feeding, it might be further inoculations or moving around and then in the end of the afternoon they get fed one last time um, before the end of the day. Um, I love the gibbons, they're um, a bit more difficult to work with, um, they're a bit more intelligent and they can be more of a problem when you're trying to shut them in or out of their enclosure but um, they're definitely uh, more interesting to watch, they're fascinating creatures. Well, you're, you're in with the lemurs and uh, lemurs do love their bananas. Um, the sweeter the food, the, the better. Um, yeah, most of the monkeys do love bananas. <laughs> and the best part of my job um, is spending all day outside um, with the animals. I work closely with them. Um, but also can see them behaving very much as animals. Um, yeah, being outside with them is the best thing. I became a keeper um, just through a long-term interest with animals and then I studied zoology and got a job in one zoo and uh, I've moved around and um, now I'm here at Howlett's. If you want to become a keeper um, I would say your best bet is to get as much volunteer work as you can because that way you can show you've got a long-term dedication and you can show that you also understand the animals. If you've had a chance to work with some, you can transfer that um, information away and uh, get as much as you can and put it in elsewhere, definitely. <laughs>